Hello there, this is Rose from Lipinly Made. Today I'd like to show you how to make this seashell coaster. But you know what? You can actually make it into anything that you can dream up. You can make it into a garland, maybe for a beach theme uh, party. You can make it into a home decor item. You can even make it into a pendant. All you just have to do is reduce the number of um, stitches you work for your starting chains. Uh, in fact, I saw a photo of this pattern being used as a bralet for a toddler. So <laughs> it's all your imagination. So it's really easy to work. We walk into a magic circle all through the pattern in uh, back and forth rows and we walk into the front loop only to create this um, rib this ribbon effect here all right so i'm using i've used a cotton yarn for this and i recommend you using a cotton yarn as well so this time i'm going to use this lion brand 247 cotton for the project a 4.5 millimeter hook So, let's start with a magic circle. First we will, okay, hold your yarn, hold the working yarn, the tail in front of two fingers, wrap it around your finger, and then the one going to the ball, pass it to the back of your fingers. Okay, hold it right there. Now you want to take your hook and pull out the back yarn through, twist it. Okay, I'll do that again. When you when you when you pull out the back yarn to the front, you twist it, and then you chain one to secure your ring. I'll do that again. So, put your yarn in front, wrap it around, wrap it to the back. Hook, place in, pull the back to the front, twist it, and then yarn over, chain one. All right, our magic look is formed okay this chain one doesn't count as part of the stitch so we will chain 18 one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen 18. If you want to make a uh, shorter rows, you can chain 16, you can chain 14. Okay, so now we'll do half double crochet in the third chain from hook. One, two, three. In this third one, we'll do a half double crochet. Yarn over and go in there. I like to make my stitch right in the bump at the back. Okay, half double crochet, yarn over and pull through. Why am I doing that is because I want to avoid the gaping holes that result from working directly into the chain. Okay, now half double crochet in many stitches. So that means we're going to have 16 stitches in all. And in our last chain. So we're supposed to have 16 stitches. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. Alright, 
So we have sixteen stitches on row one. Now we will slip stitch into the ring. Slip stitch into the ring. Now place your stitch mark, place a stitch marker in this ring or use something that uh, you could use. If you don't have a stitch marker, you could use a hairpin for that. Now we'll turn. Do not chain anything. Do not chain. Alright? Now we'll slip stitch across 16 stitches in front loop only. Remember, we're working only in the front loops. So where is our front loop on this half double crochet? It's right here, this one that's facing us right here yes we have these two loops okay but we will not walk in, into them we we'll walk into this one right here this is uh like a i've heard it called a third loop for half double crochet it is the only stitch that has this extra loop right in front of it or at the back depending on where it's facing you so in here we'll go in there all right not in these two up here, but in the one facing directly, facing you directly, okay? Slip stitch. And try to keep your slip stitches loose. Okay, we'll slip stitch in all of them across. Into each half of crochet. So if you have 16 slip stitches, by the time we're done. And now, in the last one, so 16 slip stitches, done. So on row three, so we will chain three, and then turn. We will do three half double crochet in the first stitch, which is this right here. Okay, look, this is our slip stitch here. Our slip stitches are these two loops that are directly at the back. And remember, we are working in front loop only, front loop only throughout. So, in this first stitch right here, because this is a slip stitch, the last slip stitch from row two, we will work three half double crochets in there. And then we will have double crochet in the remaining 15. In front loop only of the slip stitch. Okay, now we're making our last, our last uh, half double crochet in the last slip stitch, which is right here. So we'll go into the front loop only. There we go. So we will slip stitch. Okay, remember this, this was the slip stitch we made into the ring from row one. So this is marked so that we can differentiate, know the difference and not work into this. This is not a working stitch. It was just a slip stitch to join into the magic circle. So we will now slip stitch into the ring. And then turn. So in row 
four we will slip stitch across so now we have 18 stitches so now we are on row row 10 we slip stitch across slip stitch in um, 24 stitches across we're done increasing uh, the half double crochets so now we will turn and chain three we'll do a half double crochet across 24 stitches we're not increasing anymore so we will do half double crochets now first stitch and the next remember we're working in the front loop only front loop only slip stitch and of the half double crochet as well so there we go now we're done with row 16 which was a repetition of the previous two rows. So we've done the even rows and then we increased at the beginning the even rows. Now we're going to decrease. That gives us the shape that we that we're looking for. So we're going to chain three and do half double crochet three together. That's basically decreasing across three stitches and remember the chain three does not count as a stitch so we yarn over go into the first um, stitch and over pull out a loop yarn over go into the next stitch yarn over pull out a loop repeat the same thing in the third stitch So we should have seven loops on our hook, yarn over and pull through all three. So our first decrease is done. Now we're just going to do a half double crochet across the remaining stitches. Now we're going to walk into the last slip stitch, then slip stitch in the magic ring. So let's uh, move our stitch marker to that last slip stitch we just made. Now we're just going to slip stitch across. Remember, this is the decrease row, so we'll just slip stitch across each stitch. We don't decrease or increase the slip stitches. They remain the same. Only the half double crochets go through that. Now we slip stitch in the last stitch. That's the three half double crochet decrease we did. Now we're just going to be repeating the last two rows. So now we are on row 24. I've made slip stitches across because this is a repetition of row from the decrease row from row 17 up to yeah row 24 so rows uh, 17 and 18 are being repeated across to the end uh, decrease the don't have double crochet decreases so I'm uh, on row 24 and now we will do the last row row 25 row 25 we change to 
and we'll do a half double crochet across still in front loop only of slip stitch And half double crochet in the last stitch, and then we'll slip stitch in our ring. Okay, so that is the last row. It's shaped up. So, slip yarn. And this is our tail. Okay, with this tail now, we'll pull, we'll pull it close. All right, that's done. seashell coaster. I'd love to know what you're going to make your signature. You can tell me in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video and thank you for subscribing too. Alright, I'll see you in my next video. God bless you.